So what's up guys, it's Primetime 2. Today, I'm talking about E3, and this is my E3 impressions, impressions video. And my impressions, first off, start with Nintendo. They were awesome. They showed Super Mario 3D World for the Wii U, which I'm very excited. Um, if you're watching, you follow me on Twitter, um, you see that I pre-ordered every single game almost announced, except X. Um, I'll be pre-ordering that as well, but um, I'll probably wait till the beginning of the month to pre-order that. Or in about two, three weeks when I get some more money. But I pre-ordered everything. Um, even though a lot of these things won't be out till next year. I I have a Wii U and I need more games for it. And I am going to get these games. Um, so I'm excited for what Nintendo showed. I can't wait till next E3 for more games. Hopefully we get let. Only thing I'm disappointed about is that we didn't get um, a Legend of Zelda HD um, shown. At this E3 for some reason. Um, we were promised at least some kind of footage or screenshots. But we weren't showing anything. Um, we were showing Wind Waker HD stuff. But that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about when the new Zelda for the, for, uh, the Wii U. Not no remake. It's not even a remake. It's just a polish up game. Which I'm still buying because I'm not paying $40 for you no know, Wind Waker for the GameCube. That's not worth my money. So besides that... Um, it was an awesome presentation. Um, I think Mario alone is going to sell Wii U. Mario Kart 8 is going to sell Wii U. I know a couple people that's going to probably want to pick up a Wii U just because of that game alone. Thankfully, I already have one, and it's a good system. Um, I'm looking forward to some more games, um, eShop, Earthbound, stuff like that. I might have to update my hard drive, so it's a great system. Now, on to the Microsoft. Uh, Microsoft shows some great things for some... Um, and they took exclusive, not exclusive, but partnered with Sony. They're not partnered, but they also got exclusive t them and Sony, PS4 and Xbox One get Kingdom Hearts 3. I'm not happy about this because I wanted it on the PlayStation 3, so I could buy it. I might be buy a PS4 like two years from now, but I'm not buying one for no $400. And I'll probably buy mine used. But, um, for that for to them to get Kingdom Hearts 3 is awesome and I know a lot of people are pissed off about it I'm never gonna get an Xbox one I've stated this before and I probably never will unless it's given to me for free and even then or I win it I'm probably gonna give it away like for example my girlfriend won an Xbox 360 and she sold it but Xbox 360 is awesome compared to Xbox one you guys can talk shit about Xbox 360 all you want for example Xbox Live Gold they're giving away two free games a month every month of your Xbox Live Gold membership and if you do your research you can get a free month of Xbox Live Gold and get Fable 3 for free this month go on slick deals you'll find out what I'm talking about I already got Fable 3 on physical and so I ended up getting it on digital and next month they're gonna be giving away two more free games so I might be paying 20 35 30 dollars for Xbox Live subscription just for this now on to Sony. They showed some great games. Oh wait, before I'm done with Microsoft, Killer Instinct is a free-to-play game. So people are talking about, oh, I'm going to go pick up Killer Instinct when it comes out. No, you're going to download Killer Instinct because you can't get a copy of it. It's free-to-play, just like Plants vs. Zombies uh, Part 2 and shit like that, which is sad. I think they fucked up Killer Instinct, and that's fucked up. They fucked up my childhood right there. Now as far as Microsoft's... Con uh, PlayStation 4 is concerned, they're doing awesome. What they're doing on the PlayStation um, 3 Home, if you don't know about this, if you go on PlayStation Home, you this is until tomorrow, after tomorrow you can't do this, you can do Quest for E3, and you get 30-day membership for PlayStation Plus, free. It does not stack with if you already have PlayStation Plus, so you have to either use it when it, your PlayStation Plus expires, or save it for later on for when it expires, or give it to a friend. Um, you get a 30-day membership to Music Unlimited, which I have that I've done that already, and you get a whole bunch of PlayStation Home items, which I've got in a couple. I still haven't finished it. I have to go on later, but my girlfriend's watching Netflix, so I'm gonna try to go on tonight after I'm done um, to finish it. Um, I'm just letting you guys know about these awesome deals. They're doing that, which is awesome, and you can see like a lot of the stuff from E3 on the PlayStation 3 Home. What they showed was a lot of great games, but what I'm not happy about is that mostly everything that was shown on the PlayStation 3, Xbox One, except a couple exclusives, can be paid, played can be played on the PC. Now, you guys may get mad at me and say, oh, everybody can't afford expensive. I'm tired to tell you, but PCs are not that expensive to build. 
and you sure as hell don't need to spend $500 on one if you already have a PC that's about two to three years old that you built. For example, I built my PC about two, three years ago. All I need to do is upgrade that, that baby's graphics card, which I'm doing right now, and that's enough to have better um, graphics than any Xbox One or PS4 games. For example, somebody said on Facebook, um, I was itching to play some next-gen graphics, so I went and played Battlefield 3 on my PC. You guys wouldn't understand that unless you went and watched some YouTube videos of Battlefield 3 on Ultra Settings. Um, I'm not a fanboy, but I understand that PC is highly superior than consoles, handhelds, or anything out there. Hell, I have bought in so many great games on the PC for cheap. And I don't regret a single goddamn thing. Because I guarantee you when I'm 60, 70 years old, Steam is still going to be around. While Xbox One games that you paid for are not going to be around no longer. Um, so when their service goes down and all those used, all those games that you bought, they're no longer going to be available. So Xbox One is one of those systems that is DRM limited time kind of thing. So when they go under, all your games go under with them. You're renting all those games. Once it's done, it's done. So PS4 and Wii U, I think this gen is between them two and Microsoft might come last place. They might be in the race because the fucking casuals might buy their shit, but not me. And I think people who buy Microsoft products as far as the Xbox One are stupid and retarded. Um, if you buy the controller for Steam, all the power to you because I might buy the controller just for that alone. I would buy a PlayStation 3 um, 4 controller, but the PlayStation 3 controller is not is compatible with Steam, but it has a lot of issues that you have to jump through hoops just to get it to work on Steam. So I'm gonna and the Xbox 360s are plug and play and it works just like that. So I'm gonna get the Xbox One controller for my um, computer eventually. Hopefully it's not no 65 bucks for it. Um, thanks for watching my video, guys. I hope you guys are having a great day. Um, E3 has been wonderful. I really enjoyed it. I felt like a little kid in a candy shop. And I know you guys did too. See you guys later.